Hey Kiwi Kids, it's Deb. And do I have a story for you? wasn't so bad for me anymore. I played handball with Tom, Jono and Usher at lunch times and that kept me out of trouble. Things were better at home too. I was helping mum around the house. I was trying to be good. I knew I had to get back to Father God somehow, just like the son in the play got back home to his dad. I just wasn't sure how to get there. I'd been at every rehearsal with Tom, Usher and Jono. I really like Pastor Dan. Asha drove me crazy sometimes. He tested every microphone three times just because he loves tests. On the night of the performance, I was just about busting with excitement, but I tried to look chill. I felt like I was part of something special. The night started with music and singing. Jono and Tom played great. They're so good, I reckon they could be a band. I could be their manager. I'd make Usher the roadie. The play about the prodigal son nearly went without a hitch. Some kids made mistakes, but the audience laughed, so it was all right. After everyone had taken a bow, I was surprised to see Pastor Dan up on the stage. That hadn't happened in any rehearsals. How do you find your way back home? Dan asked the audience. Jesus said, I am the way the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. It is through Jesus taking our sin on the cross that we are able to return to Father God. Every wrong thing we have done is forgiven. You can run into the arms of Father God because Jesus made a way back. If you're feeling lost and alone or if you're homeless, Ask Jesus to come into your life now so you can run into the arms of Father God who is watching and waiting for you. Please come forward tonight. I, I was shocked. Everything Dan said was what I was waiting to hear. I wanted to run home to Father God. I wanted to go to the front of the church, but I was afraid. Everyone would be gawking at me but I knew I should. My heart was beating fast. Should I go down the front? Should I stay where I was? Should I go down the front? Should I stay where I was? Spud was Asha. Do you want me to go down the front with you? <laughs> yeah, you are an Usher after all. He just smiled at me. I think he knew I was nervous. We walked together to the front of the church. Tom and Jono left their instruments and jumped down off the stage to stand behind me. They were smiling like a couple of idiots. Other people started coming out to the front too, but I was one of the first. Pastor Dan asked everyone to close their eyes and pray a prayer, repeating the words after him. Father God, thank you for waiting and watching for me. Thank you for sending Jesus to make a way back home to you. I'm sorry for every wrong, reckless and wasteful thing I have done. Come into my life right now. Father God, I come home to you. Thank you for loving me. Amen. <laughs> Phew! I, I felt awesome. 
Now I was smiling at everyone like an idiot. Tom, Jono and Asha were patting me on the back. Pastor Dan came and shook my hand. I'll never forget that night. I felt Father God really did have his loving arms wrapped round me. You'll still find me in the figs. I love being there with my mates, including Anthony Usher. I've brought my cousin Jack to come and hang out with us too. We're making plans to extend the treehouse. Kids, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.